Communities all across the region are waiting and watching as Ida approaches northeastern and central Pennsylvania. And as Josh just reported, the track of that storm will factor into how much rain falls in the area. WBRE 28, WYU 22, Eyewitness News, I-Team reporter Andy Mahalschik joining us live from along the Susquehanna River tonight in Wilkesbury with the story. Andy. Well, good evening, Nick and Candace. Well, the Susquehanna River throughout our area not expected to cause any major flooding issues. In fact, just like Josh said, though, unless you're living in a low-lying area near the river or near a stream or a creek, well, then you could be in Ida's bullseye. There's so much uncertainty. Um, we're just watching the forecast. We're working with the National Weather Service in Binghamton, and we're just trying to get the the information out and just ask people to be prepared. And that's the bottom line, so says Luzerne County Emergency Management Director Lucy Morgan and the acting county manager, Ramilda Crocomo. Heavy rains could have a big impact on low-lying areas and creeks like Solomon Creek in South Wilkesbury. That's why city workers installed the floodgates along the creek on Tuesday. It's not the river. The river, it's obviously the level's going to go higher, but that's not our main concern right now. Obviously, any low-lying uh, farmlands, Plainsville, places like that. But the flash flooding, creeks, streams, and... The ground is saturated, so it's not going to be able to take much, so there's going to be a lot of runoff. County officials offer this advice to people who may live in those areas. Right now, uh, to those individuals, use this time to prepare. Uh, make sure uh, you have all your medication and, and important uh, uh, belongings uh, that you might need. Uh, make sure your pets uh, will be safe. Uh, but use this time to prepare. And that includes many people who live in the Shikshini area, folks like Jim Bach, who say they know all too well how fast the Susquehanna River can rise in this region, an area not protected by a levee system. He insists that islands in the river are a big factor in flooding in this region. Every time the river comes up, it gets muddy, more stuff accumulates on the islands, and that's why we get flooded and stuff. Now, you can see Lucy Morgan's entire interview on PAHomepage.com. And, of course, Eyewitness News, our team meteorologist, will continue to monitor Ida's progress as she moves into our area. Reporting live with the ITU in downtown Wilkesbury, Andy Bahalshi, 2822 Eyewitness News. All right, Andy, thank you.